G'day everyone, joined by Tom at Euroa. We're going to take a look at our runners this coming Saturday. Uh, we've got one runner north of the border in the Group 3 Hawkesbury Gold Cup over a mile. Jessie Bell, Corey Brown, gate 15. A bit of an awkward gate. Uh, she did run well in Sydney last start in Group 1 company. And she actually swallowed a clot of dirt in that race. It was a very uh, wet track. So um, I think she's definitely got a good chance. Um, and she's got good form at a mile. Back to Caulfield, where our first runner comes up in race two, the benchmark 84 over 2,000 metres. Snitzer Wood for Corey Parrish. He was uh, an impressive winner at Mornington, and then we backed him up. He didn't handle the backup. Uh, so he's, we've kept him fresh going into this, and I think he's a good, solid each way chance. On a race three, which is a benchmark 78 over 1,200, we've got last start winner win force for Corey, gate five. Yeah, he's... Um, in winning form, but he would need to uh, race to his best, best to be competitive in this. On a race five, which is the Thoroughbred Club Cup, a listed event over 1,200 metres. We accept it with two runners, but Will's bid will actually go to Adelaide. But we do have proposal in the race for Bo Mertens, gate two. She's had the benefit of a couple of starts now. Uh, she finished second at her last run, and we're looking for a bit of black type here. So she's fit. Uh, track's wet. Um, she's by more than ready, though, so hopefully she'll handle the conditions. On to race six, over 1,200 metres, we've got two runners. First up from a spell, Highland Beat for Craig Williams, gate 10. Yeah, he's got good Caulfield form. Uh, 1,200's probably uh, his upper limit of distance. Uh, we'll have to ride in quiet from the gate, but watch him for him hitting the line. And we also have Valiano for Jamie Mott, gate six. Yeah, I'd probably forget his first run. He drew very wide and we tried to hold him up and he resented that. Uh, so from this barrier, if we let him flow, I think you'll see a much improved effort. Race 7, over 1,100 metres. Again, first up from a break, Majestic Lass for Mitch Aitken in gate 2. Yeah, she's got uh, good form at Caulfield. She's uh, first up from a wind operation, uh, but she comes into the ra race with a very light weight after the claim, and I'd expect her to sit up on the pace and be in it for a long way. In the final event on the card, we've got two runners. Uh, first is Petrology for Mitch Aitken. Yeah, I think the mile will suit. He actually ran well first up at 1,400 and watch for him hitting the line hard late. And we also have Bradman for Bo Mertens. Yeah, he's a tricky horse to catch, and also to 16, he's probably best forms at 1,400, uh, but he's very fit now, and uh, on his best form, he definitely would be an each way chance. Across to Adelaide in the opening event on the card, which is the Group 3 Breeders Stakes. Uh, we've got first up from a break, Will's bid for Damien Oliver, gate two. Yeah, he hasn't ran since the Blue Diamond, uh, we actually didn't turn him out, but he had an easy time at the farm and his build-up's been excellent. Um, I think uh, he's got a great each-way chance and we're definitely trying for the black type here. On to race five, over 1,300 metres, we have Sullivan Bay for Damien Lane, gate 11. Yeah, she's very honest, man. She's got to handle the seven-day backup. Um, Damien Lane's in excellent form and you have to give her a chance. Race seven is the listed Nitschke Stakes, over 1,400 metres. Uh, we have two runners. The first is Zunbarqua for Paul Gatt. She was an impressive winner at Sandown. A little bit disappointing last start, uh, but she does have good Adelaide form and uh, uh, definitely on her best form, you'd have to give her a chance. And last start winner, Waterloo Sunset for Jason Holder. Yeah, she did heated at uh, Caulfield. Uh, she's very fit now, and I think this is an excellent race for her to get some break type. And in the final event on the card, which is the Group 3 Chairman Stakes, over 2,000 metres, uh, backing up from last week, domesticated for Jason Holder, gate three. Yeah, she uh, was didn't have the best of rides last start, but the start before that, she uh, really hit the line hard, and actually the start before that, she'd won. So I'm sure she's going well, and if she handles the seven-day backup, um, you definitely have to rate her a top three hope. Have you got a best bet for us on Saturday, Tom? I like Waterloo Sunset in Adelaide. And I know he's hard horse to get right, but Petrology, I think, is a good each-way chance in Melbourne. Thanks, Tom.